I'm back again with the update about the appeal I made with YouTube. Uh, first and foremost, for those who do not know, there is a video here you can see on my screen uh, that uh, YouTube video, my YouTube video on the V Lottery application form has been removed by YouTube. Uh, this is the video uh, which I posted yesterday and the, I explained that uh, I got the warning and a strike that uh, I have been uh, reported uh, that I was against the community guideline and the, my video just to fill the DV lottery form was removed. Uh, and that was October 11th at 1.35 a.m. And the, when I saw that one, I had to do the appeal. So I don't know what is the process do they do in the appeal. Do they go and sit down and check the video or whatever they decide? But today I got the response a few minutes ago uh, now it, uh, I mean, I got the response today, uh, or oh, was yesterday, I'm just checking my, yesterday I took most of the day off. So I got the response, the data shows that it is yesterday, uh, but I'm just looking now because yesterday I was so upset, I didn't want to be on YouTube or doing anything. So this is the important notifications that the appeal which I did has been rejected. So I did the appeal the same day, and the same day they gave the response that thank you for your appeal. After the review, we have determined that your content, how to fill the developer application form, uh, uh, viol does violate the community guidelines. Uh, and we have applied, we have up we have upheld uh, to our original decision. We appreciate for your understanding. So, and if you click here, learn more, uh, it brings you to uh, the community guidelines. And uh, they try to explain what does that mean and uh, what are the things which cause you that. So one of the policy which they are talking about is it still that uh, is harassment and bullying? That is what they are saying the video is all about. But the video is about to fill the diversity visa lottery form. Uh, and I went ahead, uh, even uh, so, the video is just about that, uh, about just to fill the, the visa lottery form. So, for that particular case, you cannot do anything after this decision. After the appeal and they what they have decided, you cannot do anything else. What does that mean? It means YouTube can do anything they want. Just one person can decide to destroy someone's uh, uh, account. Uh, for this particular reason, usual, uh, even if they say it is a warning, uh, so this is what they say, your content was removed due to the evaluation of community guidelines and the, the policy which I violated, they say, is harassment and cyberbullying. The appeal has been rejected. And if this happens again, meaning if someone crazy person again who is crazy, well, I'm saying crazy because there was no harassment because I will go to deal with the harassment and showing you what does the harassment mean uh, or cyberbullying. Your channel will get a community guideline, guidance strike and you will not be able to do things like upload, post or live stream for at least one week. So now you cannot uh, make any, any, any type of uh, uh, appeal because the appeal has been rejected. There is no appeal to superior court or something like that. But if you go to the video, it's talking about the uh, just the green card lottery application form. That's all. And the, that is what uh, I have talked about. 
If you go to the video, so I have decided to re-upload the video. I re-upload the video, the video which is the, the V, I changed the title. It's called the V2023 application form, correct way of filling the form. So possibly this one will continue to be there. But I don't know who did this, but to be honest, this is not fair. It's not the proper way. Uh, so if you go and uh, click this link of cyberbullying, this is what the harassment and ha cyberbullying police mean. So let's go and play this video and see what they mean. Uh, what do they mean? Uh, okay, so what type of content on this video, which is from YouTube themselves, they uh, they are giving explanation about harassment and cyberbullying policy. They are saying the following things. That what does this policy mean? And the, what type of content uh, they are talking about in the video, which are going to be considered cyberbullying. Revealing someone's private information, such as their home address, email address, signing credentials, phone number, passport number, or bank information. I used my personal information. I didn't use anybody's information. I used my name. I used the address which I put there. I put in my old passport number. So, and I used the fake email address. Even if I use my email address, it's not your email address. Okay, content that uh, incites other harass to uh, uh, others to harass or threaten individual on, on or of YouTube. I haven't said go and harass someone or threaten someone. Content that endangers abusive, funny behavior such as all these kind of things. I haven't done that. Content that targets uh, identifiable individual is part of harmful conspiracy theory, where co uh, conspiracy theory has been linked to. Uh, linked to direct threats or uh, violent acts. I haven't done that. The video is just the form. Write your name, date of birth, passport number, where you were born, do you have children, are you married? That is the form. Put your email address, save the confirmation number. That is the email address. There is no any such of uh, this type of acts or uh, assaulting any individual, or anything of this kind of nature. So, there is nothing in all of these, all of these videos. Nothing. Harassment. This is the guideline that took I haven't made a video telling people to go to anybody's channel to harass any YouTuber or to harass any person on or offline. I haven't said go and bully anybody on the, that particular video or on any of my video. I haven't recorded anybody without the consent. If someone comes to my channel, whether is coming as a guest or someone is making a comment, I haven't just brought or recorded someone without their consent. I haven't revealed any person's personal information on that video. I haven't done any of those one. So, why YouTube have decided to reject this one? I don't know. This is so upsetting, depressing, and not fair at all. Personal, very much disappointed, also by YouTube. Because there is no way 
if it could be other videos, you can say maybe this video you are giving is your opinion video. Maybe you are saying maybe maybe US is the greatest country on the planet Earth. Maybe no, but this video was just about the form, how to fill the form. There was no side conversation. There was no side opinion on that. That's why it's very upsetting. So I don't know why this person made that uh, claim. And I don't know why YouTube accepted it. And I don't know why YouTube rejected the appeal. Uh, to do that way, there is uh, another person this person, another person created the account recently and he put in my logo, EBM, like the, the one I'm using. If you look on my top hand right corner, you will see the EBM. So use the same one and he's calling the account official EBM scholars. This person made over 200 comments just yesterday alone. One day. I don't know why. On one day, the same day that happened, this person made over 200 comments. But I know it's not, I mean, it's just, it's just telling people about to refer them, whatever. But it's a brand new account. Uh, what I did, I went and reported the account. The account was uh, opened on September 24th. So I have banned, I blocked the account to be part of uh, making comment. And I'm thankful to my wife who went there and he put the comment on almost 100 videos or 100, 100 comments that he, uh, she has also reported this guy for impersonating me. I don't understand what's going on now. Uh, all in all, I want to say thank you for the support of everyone. Uh, when I posted this video, I got over 167 comments. And all these comments are people to be side by side by me, uh, are giving me more uh, energy, just saying what I'm doing is right. And also they are sympathizing for what is going on. So thank you each and everyone who has been touched by this one. And uh, I'll continue to make more videos. This will not going to stop us. Uh, but uh, when you see these kind of videos, or any comment which is just when you see like a comment like this one someone is going to do that i th i'm thankful some people screenshot sent to me uh thank uh, shiko sent to me uh there is someone is this you or is this another account of you my wife sent to me and the uh another like three other people sent to me so thank you so much each and everyone who uh just when they saw this one they were suspicious too and direct commented uh and sent me messages to make sure that this is not me and to go and block that particular person that is friendship what does it all mean uh i'm thankful to uh charity uh babo is a youtuber she's also here in kansas city uh i mean in kansas state uh she went ahead and made a video uh to also encouraging people if you don't want to watch somebody's content, just go ahead and don't watch. Or if the video you don't like, just like I have no problem. This there are so three people went ahead in this, they, they dislike this video. I have no problem with that. And uh 221, they like the video. So it is okay to come and say dislike the video here on the bottom than going to report the video that this is harassment. After all, you don't need to watch my videos. You don't need to subscribe to my videos. If you like music, go and watch music. So, I'm done. So, please, don't do that. If you don't watch the video, don't watch the video. Uh, otherwise, just go ahead and watch more content which we are keeping posting there. And we'll make sure that you get the correct information. May God bless you. And for those who are still applying for the diversity visa lottery, keep applying. For those who are looking for scholarships, more videos for scholarships are coming out. Uh, so thank you, everyone, and goodbye. And this again is EBM.